Good afternoon, everybody. Morning. This is Fen, and I'm playing the Seven Sisters. Intoning strangely. Haven't gotten the loot goal yet, or really even close to it. For some reason. Let's, let's, let's get out of there. Yeah, you can't go in that window anymore, because... <laughs> let's start... Nah. I don't need to worry about that guy. AIs just don't know what's up. Oh, he's hunting, is he? They're both hunting. Great. Well, uh, I guess I'll... Never mind those. Let's just start all over. Hey guys, this is Fen playing the Seven Sisters. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, okay. Yeah, so let's see. I guess what I should probably maybe do... But... Huh? Oh, no, no, no. What did I do before? I did... Holy crap, this really is, like, hard to get down quietly. Oh, or not. Okay, that was a skill play demonstration, and now... All right, you. Turn around, what are you, friggin' random guy? Come on. And you. I'd like to just snatch the it's arrows up there. Poach. Okay, now, I'm gonna do now. Come on, guy. Oh, you get no medals for false alarms. You don't get the awards until you get the flat feet. No, indeed. I'm gonna go back here because there's a library I keep harping on about. Kind of this way's ish. Alright, might be another... Ah, alright, so anyway, this here's like some kind of square plaza thing with some rooms for rent that you can't get in the front door, but you can get through the fireplace. That's, that's, you know, it's a, it's a cheap, inexpensive kind of deal, oh, I mean. Sorry. You don't get the fancy, openable door with that oh. sort of price. Someone there. Oh, it just seems quiet enough now. Yeah, quit reacting. Is that you? What the? Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. It's not at all the easiest way to get around Who's there? that way. Who'd I see there? Letting those stay alert. Yeah. yeah. This strange <clears throat> obsession with ghosts. I saw something. Architecture, Seems you know what to do. Okay, now on this side so I can get in here. Whew. This is a, a famed library I keep babbling on about. It's pretty great. Totally obsolete. <laughs> Modern joke. Okay, but now, so what the deal was here is that... Oh, upstairs. I cured that guy upstairs already. Oops. So these light switches, you turn them on and they're just like on, like why would you ever want to do that? But anyways, because the guy upstairs is a zombie and normally you're supposed to sort of like cure him on a timer. But I've done it already first, so there's no pressure for that, but I'll show you what's supposed to happen in a second. <coughs> I feel bad robbing this guy, I mean, this guy doesn't deserve such ill treatment at all. Let's see. <laughs> My god, I can't believe it yet. I seem to be living a nightmare. Yeah, we had just closed the library, Lawrence and me, and we were sitting in our terrace as usual, sipping our cup of tea, when Lawrence suddenly jumped up, knocking the chair down behind him. His whole body was trembling. In a few seconds, his face became ashen, while a bloody rivulet trickled down from one side of his mouth. I was petrified. I could hardly breathe when he came staggering towards me. He seized my wrist, and after dragging me across the room, he almost hurled me outside to the landing. He pulled the key off the keyring. He thrust it into my hand and shouted with a voice, which by now was a beast-like rattle. Lock the door! Lock me in and don't open it for any reason! I did as he said. It took only a few seconds to understand. The plague had infected him too. Many hours have passed and I'm desperate. Why did it have to happen to us? We were so happy! 
I had been in love with Lawrence from the first moment I saw him, the day I applied for the position of librarian. I had never known a man like him, so elegant, brilliant, cultured, and so unaffected and informal at the same time. When he confessed he loved me too, my happiness was complete. I was asking nothing else from life. I can do nothing but wait. As soon as the daylight comes, I will consult with Dr. Knox, but it seems like the night will never end. I started writing these few lines because I absolutely have to remain awake. The night watchman could be here at any moment on his usual round of inspection. He has a pass key for all the rooms, and I must absolutely prevent him from going upstairs. It would be a tragedy. Lawrence could kill him, becoming a murderer, or Lawrence could be killed. I don't even want to think of this eventuality. I cannot lose Lawrence. I would rather die of the same disease than live without him. I must remain awake. I must. <clears throat> oh, God, the poor guy. All right, now, normally I don't like to get all serious, but I just want to say excellent work here. Putting a non-hetero relationship in a thing with no long justification, no explanation, no, hey guys, let's point it out, just absolutely normal, like, oh yeah. The night watchman guard is scripted to trigger to come in here whenever you, as soon as you finish reading that book and he goes upstairs and if he finds the zombie they start fighting. Fortunately I've cured him already and normally you're supposed to just hurry, take the key, open the door there, cure him and get into the shadows before the guy finds him. Anyway like I was saying, I think that's great. The day when this stuff is considered ordinary and of no cause for running around screaming like a fanatic to anybody. That was poorly phrased. Better it'll be. I mean to say, yeah, good job. Lady Rowena acting like it's, it's just nothing to it. Guys are in love. There you go, nothing wrong with that. I guess he goes in there. Okay, I guess, hmm. Uh-oh. <laughs> mm. Uh-oh, where, where's, where's safe darkness? Okay, maybe I can follow him. I'm guessing he just, like, goes on a patrol or something, which... What was I even doing? I should have just... Uh-oh. Looks like it's nothing. I should have done this last. Cause now I'm gonna have to take care of that guy. <coughs> huh? What? <coughs> all right. Uh, I better cut well, back on all this overtime. Okay, that's that. What? Why are there so many guys around here? And girls, sorry. Yeah, no offense, man. Okay. Jordan, that you? Oh, man, the A... You know, I keep calling these guys AIs and talking about alerts. Like, I mean, I'm just so, like, knowing too much about this game in a technical sense that I... Don't even talk about it like a game anymore. That's kind of sad. But I mean, I don't know. I, I enjoy it. I guess that's cool. Whatever it is. That thing is hanging like two feet off the wall. What? I never noticed that. <laughs> oh, boy. Who's there? Why is this video almost finished already? You know, that's kind of... I, I was hoping I could... I was hoping I could, you know, get to more new stuff. I mean, I guess I can. So, you know... I can make this video longer if I want. Here's Archway Walk. We walk along the Archway. I guess I didn't knock out all the thieves. Probably, maybe, I don't know. <coughs> but... I'm going to take out all of these guys. At least most of them. Because they're a colossal nuisance. A thundering nuisance, you might say. And anyway, this is like the freaking... 
serious real life political episode. I don't even know. Why do I keep saying the word political? I don't even know. Oh, there's a thief. Okay. Now, there's like three or four freaking guys here. And one with a lantern. I mean, they just keep coming. It's like. Look at that guy. Go in the opposite direction. La di da di da. Sure. Good thing I t took out everybody there. Now, again, now that I have. Uh. Yeah, I don't have any holy water left. Anyways, if I had a holy water, I could go to Chow's basement, but there's another reason I'm not going there besides the holy water is because there is a situation where it is very good not to have too many people. Not AIs, but people. There are people around. And, oh, gotcha. <laughs> Let's do that trick that I taught everyone about. There we go. Now... Get more... Waiting, I guess. Now, here is another really tricky... thing. We got to shoot two rope arrows up here. That is... Yeah, I don't think I can grip that one. Because there's a window up there that's a secret with some loot in it. Man, I like the episodes when I just talk a lot and make a bunch of uh, funny observations and whatever. This isn't one of them. Sweet and awesome. Let's just take out this last... Don't care if... You oh yeah, you didn't hear that. Sometimes you're sensitive. Okay. At least... I think Sir? all the guys here are KO-able. Some of the, these guys have got helmets that makes you can't knock them out, which were used like one time in the original game, and everyone's like, oh man, let's use them a bunch. And, and yeah, and kind of... There we go. For the longest time, I didn't know about this ledge. I thought you had to jump down, like, under that lamp or something and get on the roof. Again, doing things the hard way. But still, you gotta pretty much gotta leave that rope here unless you want to get hurt. Dear brother, we finally decided to move. This town has become too dangerous to live. We will leave tomorrow, early in the morning. I hope that you will do the same as soon as possible. Take care, Laura. I don't know why that's not a regular readable. And I don't know why she's, like, knocked out, but... Oh well. What loot have we got now? Uh, not that much more, really. Okay, well... This is another in the proud series of videos that I like to call Ending Them Right When We Finish, coming out of the window of a secret. See you guys tomorrow.